So one of the things that we can do with Microsoft Word is we can create something called a block style business letter. Now I know that sounds boring and very, you know, eh, but think about all of the mail you get. You know, do you check your mail every day? You should. But just something like your bill, you know, Time Warner Cable, we all probably have it, or Comcast or something. You know, if you're still one of those people who get their bills mailed to them, they're actually using a block style business letter when they write that out. And we can even write our own little block style business letter. So let's take a look at that. Well, first I'm going to change my view just so you can see. It's a little tiny if you can kind of eye this. So I click on my view tab. And inside here, you can see I can turn on a few things. I can actually change whether or not I have a ruler or some grid lines if I want. I mean, look at that for alignment issues. Or I can zoom into page width. This is one of the things that I typically do uh, with my face to face classes so people can see what I'm writing, you know, from the projector. So we start off every block style business letter with the inside oh we start with the date sorry we start with the date and I'm gonna actually start typing in Feb root Feb R notice what happens here all of a sudden I've got this February press enter to insert uh, what happens when I hit enter what we've just seen is something known as autocomplete this autocomplete function that Microsoft Word has in it allows me to not have to type everything for example, I want to go ahead and put in today's date. Well, if I just hit space, look what pops up. Didn't even have to look at the screen. You can see that it's actually going to give me February 9th, 2015. Press enter to insert. So suddenly, you know, I don't have to type as much. Maybe I don't want to look at the date. Maybe I'm in the zone and I don't look down at the little clock that's currently behind my cursor so you can't see what today's date is. That, that's where that stuff can matter. Then we do something called double spacing. Now if I just hit enter once, that's a single space. If I hit enter twice, that's a double space. And now we go ahead and we put in the inside address. So we're talking about, for example, uh, my bill. So I'm the recipient of this. And I reside at 4500 Blue Clay Road the North Campus address in Castle Hain, North Carolina. Now, what's with the zip code? I don't really know it off the top of my head. It's uh, 28429. So I've now made my inside address. I'll go ahead and double space again. And since, again, we're Time Warner, we're, we're designing this out so that they can send me the bill, uh, we say, Dear Adam, we start with this salutation, just a dear, hello, you know, if you check your emails, if you've emailed me back and forth, I'll typically do the same thing. I'll say, hi, your name, and instead of colon, I'll actually put a comma. Really, it doesn't matter which one you go with. I like the comma because I was taught that way. But then we do another double space. And so we begin writing our bill. So enclosed is your bill for from Jan ooh look at that autocomplete from Jan you 2015 this bill must be paid in full by the next Bill deadline. I'm not really good at writing these things, as you can tell. Uh, bill deadline, uh, which will be uh, February. Luckily, February. Um, I don't know. Twenty third, twenty fifteen. Failure to pay the outstanding balance on your account will result in a 5% late fee being applied to your account. Okay, why have I spent so much time explicitly writing all of this stuff? 
One thing I want you to take note of is inside my home tab, we've got this crazy little symbol right here, this guy. Well, this is known as my show hide that symbol, which is the paragraph symbol. And if I click on it, notice what happens. Every time I've hit enter, I've actually told Word that that's the beginning of a new paragraph. Now that actually matters because if we think about the computer for a second, it doesn't know what this, uh, you know, it doesn't know what enter means. The computer doesn't care. Remember, this thing right here, this is for us. So when I hit enter, the computer, you know, what we're doing is we're actually saying, uh, go to a another line. And we have to somehow store that in the computer. So we actually use, it's kind of a command. It's called the new line uh, command. And this is the same thing we see when we say hit tab. That space you see there, that has to be stored in some way. Even though we're not seeing the text, if I turn this off, even though we're not seeing anything, these are known as non-printing characters. Non-printing characters. So it's something to just kind of keep in the back of your head as we work a little bit. Now, once I've finished my block style business letter, and I know it's very basic, but we go ahead and write out our, uh, what is this? The complimentary closing. You know, if you, again, read some of my emails that I respond back to, I say bests or best of luck or I hope that helps. All I'm doing is just giving that kind of pleasant little, our conversation has ended, go forth and prosper. Same kind of things going on here. You know, we're sending out a bill, just a little notice, hurry up and pay it. Otherwise, you know, I send people with brass knuckles to your doorstep and that sucks. So we'll start with just sincerely. Oh, sincerely. Comma again. Now, we're actually going to do what's known as a quadruple space. One, two, three, four. Quadruple spacing is you hit enter four times, but it's because the idea is I would print this out and sign it. You know, I'd grab one of these guys. It's called a pen, ladies and gentlemen. We use these, you know, not just, uh, they're not just from museums. But I would sign this to show authenticity. And the reason why is because I could put anyone's name here. Sincerely, Bill Gates. You know, Bill Gates is sending me a bill. Uh, okay, Bill Gates. Well, right underneath Bill Gates' name, I'm going to go ahead and say I need to give him his title. You know, I would probably want to know who it is because what if it's not Bill Gates? What if his name is uh, Jean Claude Eisenhower? Eisenhower. A weird name. I don't know who Jean-Claude Eisenhower is. It seems poorly named person. So who are you? Well, Jean-Claude Eisenhower is the accounts manager. Oh, he's an accounts manager. That's That makes perfect sense now. That's why he's sending me this bill. We'll go ahead and hit enter twice, and I'm going to put in enclosure just to sh indicate that there is something enclosed here. Now, one of the things your book talks about is we also throw in something like these guys. These guys. Those are known as typist initials. From way back in the olden times when rich people were so rich that they didn't even bother using their own computer and they had their receptionists type out their own letters. Well, guess what? This is the future. Everyone has hoverboards type your own letters. So we take this and we've written it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, looks pretty nice. Good work, everybody. So I want to save this. Well, I've got the little floppy diskette up here, again, from the olden times of how we saved files, or I can go into file. And I have two options, save or save as. I like to do save as. It's a just kind of rule of thumb on my behalf. I like to say save as because it gives me that control of what I'm looking for. Save, in a, the beginning doesn't do much difference, but save as, uh, they you see they do the same thing. Typically, I want to save to my computer. So I would click on my computer and you can see I get all of these recent folders I've been dealing with or I can select browse. 
Now browse is going to let me see sort of the internals of my computer and I can look around. Now one of the things I like to do is I like to save to my desktop initially because that gives me that ability to have ready access to it. So we'll go ahead and say uh, we'll call this the bill and you know I don't even need that docx I can just call this bill and Word will actually put that in there. See that doc docx save Let's go ahead and close out a word. Close out of my email so you don't see that. And look at that right there, that guy, Bill. Since I saved it to my desktop, there it is. Now, what would I do after I'm done with it? Well, in my case, what I would do is I would come over here and I would put it in my documents after I'm done with it. And the reason why, where are you? There you are. Reason why is because I don't want to clutter up my desktop. I mean, look how much free space I have readily available. I like that. I'm a, I'm a stickler for it, so I like to have a clean desktop. Some little things to do.